So how much do you guys love Tech City? We've been getting a lot of love back from you. Um, a lot of you are going to our resources page and checking it out and um, buying you know, the products that we use because as we say every week, we're pretty cheap on yeah. our tech. Um, <laughs> no, we don't spend a lot of money because we know that there's so many solutions out there that are really inexpensive. And this is probably one of the least expensive and best solutions that we found. <laughs> <laughs> this one is, I don't know, I went through, oh my goodness, <clears throat> I can't even, I, I can't even put a number on how many uh, scheduling programs that I've been through. Probably, yeah. I'm going to go with maybe 10. Like, you know, I wanted it to, I, I had very specific criteria, right? The user interface, ease of creating bookings, simple, um, embeddable on my website, easy to do. If I had to cancel a time slot because I have an appointment, I wanted to sync with my calendar, blah, 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 blah. And like, oh, there's so many out there that do that. Yes, I, there are a lot, but I have not seen one that's this good at this price. Yeah, when it first came out, um, it was when it was first developed. And it was so cheap that I remember going, hmm, do you think it'll actually work because it's that cheap? <laughs> and, um, and like, it's interesting because, you know, we always invest in the startups. And yeah. so, um, but it's come up very long. It was already good when it started, but now it's uh, phenomenal. And it is literally uh, less than the price of lunch, basically, for a lot of <laughs> Is it? <laughs> for yeah. sure. For sure. So our um, tech of the day uh, for this is a, I'm just going to quickly bring it up. And remember, you can go to all our resource, all our resources are on our resource page. So everything that's there is what we use. Absolutely. And this one is called TidyCal. So TidyCal is owned by AppSumo. As you know, if you've been watching Tech City for a while, we love AppSumo. We love all their products, and this is one that's unique to them. So this is their own product. Um, yeah. If you look at the top, uh, you'll see, yes, it is actually $29. <laughs> Lifetime. Lifetime. Okay. One payment. So you We're will not. thank us. Go run to our resources page and buy it. <laughs> like, it's, it's very simple. There's There's no monthly fee there's no like ongoing subscription um so i'm just going to show you uh, sort of the front page of their site and then i'm going to show you the back end of ours uh so that you can actually see i want to show you all the options that you have because it's like i i'm convinced that every month i'm sure we get an email with this is what we've updated this is how we've made it better and it was already really good um and so these guys have made it incredible so it's a very simplistic um, overview and I think, um, or look, and that's what I like. There's not a lot of bells and whistles because you don't need them. It's this is what it is. This is how long it is. This is when you can book it and here are the times available. Like that's all you need to do. And then it walks you through when you go to book it, you know, you can just sync it with your calendar. Um, very, very, very simple. So, Again, no um, monthly options. There's so much that's going on with this. Like you can do free, you can do paid, um, custom URLs for it, um, integrations. So I understand what she just said, but in case you missed it, free or paid, meaning that you can, people can book with you um, for a free call or you can charge. So if you are yep. a coach, you can, um, and you don't have any other payment gateway, you can set it up here. Absolutely, which is perfect. So let me, um, let me share my other uh, screen with you so that you can see our. Yeah, so if you guys book anything with us, um, any of those get to know us calls, then uh, you will be using TidyCal. Yes, so here is the inside or the logged in version, the back end of TidyCal. And we've have a couple of calls. The, there's some ones that um, we've used. So again, our get to know you call, which is the mastermind city, right? We're literally going to chat about stuff and I'm going to answer your questions. So you can you book that? Absolutely. We also have AI partnerships. So we have a call on this account 
for our um, associations that book workshops with us to teach their organizations about AI. So we have those. Are there different times attached to those meeting types? Yes, there's different availabilities. You can customize based on what you want um, mm -hmm. for the different booking types uh, that you want. And you can also have them um, listed. You can have a whole bookings page if you want. You can have them listed there. You can have them private so that nobody actually sees it on the public side. So if you wanted to create something, again, for um, something that's unique to that business, you can do that yeah. as well. So if you have, for example, uh, a one-on-one -on -one client, you can make a calendar that's just for your one-on-one -on -one clients that's private, so no one else can see it. Yeah. So I'm gonna do create a new booking type just because I want you to see all the different things, like how it's customized. Cause this, like, I just, I'm just gonna go back to how is this still only $29 yeah. lifetime? Like, I don't yeah. understand how they're yeah. doing this, but anyway. So you can do the description, the duration. Um, do you want to do it so that there's availability? So this is your availability every week, or is there specific dates and times that you want this particular booking to be available for? Um, and then you go down here and this is, this just gets insane, right? How far out can they book? Um, how quickly or within that time can they book, right? So they can't book within two hours, 24 hours, you know, whatever the case may be. The location, okay. So you can, we have Google Meet, we have Zoom, and we have Microsoft Teams. Before we get any further, I just want Faye to tell a quick story <laughs> about why you can see on here that my default is Google Meet yeah. as opposed to Zoom. Yeah, so we use Zoom for a lot of years and, um, um, we got really tired of it because, you know, I hated the fact that the new window would open and people get lost and they didn't know where it was. And, and we had to, it was kind of clunky and Google Meet really rocked this year. They just like pushed out so many updates. But here's, this is um, a story that will tell you why we no longer use Zoom. <laughs> so we were doing a live um, webinar masterclass for a big association. I don't know how many, hundreds of people on the yep. call. And it was their Zoom account. Yeah. So no problem. We logged into their, we logged in um, as a, not as a user, just as a guest, but it was their <laughs> Zoom account. However, as you guys know that when you, the Zoom is on your side as well, right? So, um, so we logged in, we're doing it. It's great. No problem. Even though, you know, we don't really like to use Zoom. And um, but it was going fine. I mean, you were sharing your screen. There was no issue. You were going no through the webinar. No problem. And we were both on, so that's the only saving grace in this whole story. Um, so uh, we're halfway through the webinar and then mine just crashes. My entire system crashed. And Zoom I'm like, system, not your computer. Yeah, yeah, Zoom. Zoom. I didn't know what was on because I'm like, hold on, my power's okay, my internet's go going, what is going on? And then Zoom decided to update in the middle of the webinar and um, nothing I could do. So back yeah. in the old days, the other reason we don't use PCs is if you guys remember, I know for you PC guys, I don't know if it still happens, but Windows used to do that all the time. Yeah. They used to just automatically have an update and your whole computer would just be taken over by this update. Well, that's what Zoom did. The saving grace of this story is that Stacy was on, has access to, uh, to everything that I was presenting. So she was able to just go ahead, uh, log onto my stuff, go ahead and continue the presentation. She knows all the stuff. She's just as knowledgeable on the topic. So there was no issue. But I had to wait <laughs> for the five minutes for Zoom to update. And I had no control over it. And still to this day, I don't know. We l went through, like, is there any way to prevent this? But I went to Google and um, tried to find the answers and so many hundreds and thousands of people said it was happening to them too. So yeah. um, it's a challenge. <laughs> so going back to what we're doing, you won't see Zoom as an option on our calendar. <laughs> so unfortunately uh, that happened. And during the presentation, of course, all of a sudden Faye was gone and we all were like, huh? Um, yeah. And I'm like, okay, no problem. And I had to switch gears really fast, which was no problem. Share screen, continue the presentation, all good. 
she came back, we worked through it, nobody left, everybody understood. So the good thing in today's world is that people understand some things yeah. that are happening. However, not cool, Zoom. Not cool at all. At all. That was terrible. <laughs> uh, so we just wanted to tell this story as we're going through here, because if you do decide to choose Zoom <laughs> as, your, as your location or as your online program of choice, be prepared for that to shut down. We have yeah. not had one complaint uh, from Google Meet. So well done, Google. Never. We have not had anybody have a hard time getting in. We have no. not had it crash. We've had amazing luck. It's been amazing quality, never drop call. So yeah. we are, we have completely moved 100% uh, to Google Meet. So and this isn't even uh, Tech City about Google Meet. No, <laughs> <It's> another <laughs> day. Again, because TidyCal allows you to link your source. So when they choose your um a meeting time it automatically creates that meeting link in your calendar it automatically creates that link for them to get when they click yeah. add the calendar it's already into your system as well so there's no back and forth in regards to okay you booked a meeting well here's the link and did i get it and did i lose it in an email and have to do it manually it all does it automatically so it's all integrated so there's no issue whatsoever no, it's great. And um, yeah, that it's it's real important that you guys understand that. It's also um, as because TidyCal is so easy and it gives them the link right away. You, it's also incredibly easy to go ahead and click the link and get on your meeting. So um, exactly. they don't have to download Zoom or do any of that stuff. So keep that in mind when you're setting up your calendars. Absolutely. And everybody has a, a Google calendar, so yeah. there's no problem. Um, I like the fact this is um, back in the day, two years ago, this wasn't here, uh, but you can have multiple people. So again, for that group coaching um, or a group event or you know a webinar, anything along those lines, you can actually have more people per time slot, yeah. <laughs> which is great. You've got, um, you can do guests again. So here's your charge for the booking, allows you to set up a paid, booking. So you can charge whatever you want. So again, if you do the one-off one-on-one coaching, you can put your fee in there. Um, if you have more than one, again, for group coaching, how much are you charging? It can be free. So no problem. If you want to have, again, that discovery call or the intro call, you don't have to charge for that. Um, I like the fact that you can ask questions if you want to. So again, right. in your discovery call, you may want to add a new question of whether it's, you know, drop down or multiple choice or short answer, whatever the case may be, so that you know the answer to that question prior to jumping on the call. Right. Um, packages, recurring bookings, you know, again, amazing for ongoing coaching. Yeah. Which is really good. We've got email reminders, confirmation pages. Again, uh, I talked about this before, this private mode. I kind of like, I like it when developers are kind of like, you know, shh, hide this booking, you know? Yeah. Um, you can share that. Again, if you have a private client or something like that, or you just don't want it to be public that anybody can book this, you can right. keep it private. And then um, on the booking directory. So again, like I said, you have that page that you can have in regards to the different types and stuff like that. But what I wanna show before we uh, go too far is if you actually go to our site and you go to book a call, you're going to see how this looks embedded onto a website, which I think TidyCal does amazingly. Like yeah. this is the part I think that a lot of the uh, calendar schedulers, all of them out there, they don't look as good in bed. Right. So right. again, like we said before, you can book a call with us. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You can ask questions about Mastermind City. You can yeah. ask questions about our courses or our hub or anything that you want. Yeah. And you can see how clean it looks on your site. So you do not have to you know, go back and forth. Oh, I'd like to chat with you. You know, um, what time yeah. are you available? You can just book it right then and there and the availability um, is there and you can just click and you can see, pick your time and you know, you're good to go. So, and it will walk you through 
you know, your the date, the time, you put your name, you put your email, and you're done. You're going to get the confirmation, you're going to get the reminder, you're going to get the link, you're going to get everything. So you don't have to have somebody click over to another site. It all right. does it all embedded onto whatever page. So even though, you know, TidyCal does create URLs for a booking type, it does right. create those booking pages. You can actually have it embedded right onto your site that people can book it right there without having to go to another URL. And yeah. it's all just- And you can also, you can use that singular URL. For example, if you're on Instagram and you wanna put it on your Linktree or your Shoreby or whatever um, you're using when people, you know, link in bio, you yeah. can put them directly to that page so they can book right from anywhere. You can add the URL to, you know, anything, social yeah. posts or, or an email. Yeah, exactly. So this is always good to have if you have a website, it's always good to embed it because, um, you know, rather than if you're talking to somebody, you can simply say, just go to my website and click book a call. Right? Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> there's no, there's no, again, there's no need anymore to go back and forth. I think those are way, way, way back. Yeah. Um, back in the day. Uh, but I really like um, the embeddable. Like I really, yeah. I can't tell you how much I just love the fact that it is any of the booking types are embeddable and they just look so good um, on right. your site. So well done. Um, well done, Tidy Cal. I For love $29. The, <laughs> like <laughs> honestly run to our resources page, click the link, go grab it. It's $29 once some of you are paying $29 a month for some of your calendars and you're not getting as many options, right? Like, it how like crazy <laughs> is that? I can't like, I mean, we sound silly to keep harping on it, but we hate when people spend too much money on yeah. something that they can get a better deal somewhere else. And it's just because, um, you're not, um, you don't know about it. You yeah. know, you don't know where to access access that information. So again, look at um, come visit us every week on Tech City. Check it out on our resources page. We do have um, we do have all our videos as well yeah. when we do a review on our resources page. So you will watch this video. It'll be up tomorrow. Probably watch yeah. this video about Tidy Cal, and you'll be able to actually. Um, just go ahead and purchase right from there. So uh, $29, guys, seriously.